anime podcast, Red Leaf Retrocast. That's us, Tori. Just you and me today to talk to Horny. Talk to Horny, yep. Goddamn. I never, I never thought it would be this difficult to schedule a por- uh, goddamn hentai cast, but you know, you were gonna we say are. porn. <laughs> I was gonna say, I mean, it's the same thing. <laughs> it is a porn cast. <laughs> yeah, it only, yeah, well, yes, it, it, it only took a month to do it. Things came up, uh, people are gone, and we're, we're just like, ah, oh, fuck it, let's just, let's just talk it was about. Literally, just a case. It was literally just a case of like, oh, I, I'm busy that weekend. Okay, we schedule it for next weekend. Oh, no, I'm busy that weekend. Okay, cool. Then next weekend. Oh, next weekend isn't going to work. All right, cool. Then the weekend after that, and then Hickey's like, oh, by the way, I'm I'm going on vacation that week. It's like, oh, <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> fucking we'll just do La Blue Girl without you then. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm traveling to somewhere with no internet and fucking. <laughs> Where's he going? The fucking rainforest? Pretty much. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. <laughs> yes, it's been, what, 50 episodes, 100 episodes since our last hentai episode? Retro anime? Yep. Retro porn. Retro porn. That's what we're doing here. That's that's what we do. We went uh, from the <laughs> 70s, then we got uh, another one with the birch trees and the rape and stuff, and now we got... Uh, would you call this the original tentacle sex one or the one that popularized it at least in western fandom now i have i'm gonna be completely honest and i have not studied up on tentacle porn so um (laughs) you know my timeline may be a little off you're gonna have to forgive me but uh i mean i'm pretty sure this is the one that popularized it i don't think it's the first one but uh i don't remember what it is that is the first one but god damn it it might not have been the first one but it sure loves it. <laughs> it's it's the one a lot of people have at least heard of. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit of the backstory. On well, it, my backstory is you remember those uh, torrent sites like Kazaa and those things. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, wire. Napster, all all those things. So, <laughs> uh, buddy and I, best friend and I, we were, we were, we would download anime off there once we discovered it, and it was like Berserk, Trigun, those kinds of things. And then we would just type in the search engine anime and we just kind of hit, you know, download this one and, you know, we'd get an episode in eight hours, 12 hours, 15 a day, <laughs> you know, whatever. Depends on if the uh, the phone <laughs> would interrupt it or not. You get the idea. <laughs> and we're like, ah, the blue girl. No, don't know that. You know, days before, you know, the true Internet and searching it and getting information. And then we start watching it and we go kind of look at each other and go this is uh different <laughs> <laughs> back when give it give it when getting information was doing the good old eye test yeah <laughs> you just watch it and go oh that <laughs> really got me thinking of just awkward moments at like hollywood video blockbuster <laughs> of just mom can we rent this and she kind of looks at the cover and it's not immediately obvious that it's some kind of like softcore porn or just straight porn and it's been put in the wrong section and we get back and we go, holy <laughs> shit, we got a good one, guys. <laughs> uh, Puberty was fun. <laughs> I mean, at least with this one, you knew pretty quickly what this was, considering the fact that, like, goddamn, that, that, the, the opening plot points on this one is, uh, it's very interesting. Have you been <laughs> practicing your time. sex craft? <laughs> <laughs> they don't waste much time. <laughs> uh, I will admit, this was weirdly fun to watch, <laughs> just from I mean, just from an not, absurd standpoint. It's not often you get like a hentai uh-huh. where like the porn is actually like a a vital piece of the plot. I know that sounds <laughs> weird because it's like, isn't that the point of every hentai? But like, no. In most hentai, it's like, okay, we have some sort of setup that ends up with them having sex for one reason or another, consensual or otherwise. But, you know, in this one, it's like, no, 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 you don't understand. Sex is key here. They has they have to have sex. It's important. Even like <laughs> side characters, it's like, oh, when the when the full moon is is risen, I get Super horny, <laughs> and I become a demon's thing. I need to orgasm <laughs> before it's too late. <laughs> I need to orgasm. I'm not very picky about my partner. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do it. My God, 
yeah, it was. Uh, so we'll get to a lot of Blue Girl later. There's your there's your tease. But first, of course, we have to uh, catch everyone up on what qualifies as a show that we can review on this podcast. Fifteen years to the season. Uh, that's that's our rule that we've been embarked on ourselves. And uh, the summer preview, which is what two three episodes in, basically at this point. Um, can't say I'm too excited about uh, the summer season, but let's start with the summer 2008 season, which are anime that now qualify for us to review on this cast. Like Sekirai, etchy, comedy, boobs. Oh, Sekirai. Boobs. More boobs. Yeah. But not, not, not as explicit boobs, but boobs nonetheless. Jiggle boobs, jiggle physics. People that look like uh, characters from King of Fighters. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you're itching yeah. to review that show. Of course. It's actually on my plan to watch this, so I oh. for some reason never watched this. Don't know why. I need to rectify that. Oh, well. <laughs> you need to rectum that? Is that what you said? I need to rectify that or erectify no. that. I don't know. You gotta erect it. Got <laughs> one, it. Of, okay. one of the two. <laughs> one of the two will happen. Think- I don't think we'll be very mature in this episode at all. <laughs> you don't think so? I, yeah, something tells me. <laughs> but you know what is very mature, La Blue Girl? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, they do straight up say all the characters are at least 18, so there is that. <laughs> Better than most. But, but yeah, nah, no other, shit. <laughs> other shows that we have in 2008 was uh, we got Birdie the Mighty Decode, the continuation, or the, the other one, the the new birdie the mighty which we've talked about before yeah so the only something. birdie i'm interested in these days is birdie wing disgusting okay why it's, it's anime golf why would i not be into it right now because it's anime golf <laughs> bro i am telling you shonen golf with with uh with uh attractive women that can drive the the club like 260 that's that's what i'm into these days let's go I mean, that's a very specific fetish, and uh, you're definitely not going <laughs> to be getting too many fetish. more shows about that, but you know. <laughs> I'm not joking. In between podcasts, I binge-watched both those seasons in, like, two days. Just sitting there, like, yeah, this, this golf anime is excellent. It. Yeah, it was so good. It. it was I mean, actually really good. Dude, hmm. there was and a straight-up murder at the end and... of season one. Nice. Yeah, no, at the same time, I decided to watch or give another shot to uh, uh, fuck. What's the show called? <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen or yeah, something? Damn. Jujutsu Kaisen. That's the fucking name. I've oh my god, was that name. right? Yeah. Oh hell Jujutsu yeah! Kaisen. Go me. <laughs> yep. The first season. So yeah, nah. I dropped it after the first episode. I said, like, I started watching it when it came out, and I watched the first episode, and I said I didn't particularly, I didn't particularly care for what I saw, and I. Wasn't feeling like watching any further, and then you know, the sh- the usual shit. Everybody talks about it. It was so great, amazing, and I was like, ah, whatever. But then when I had nothing to do, I was like, you know what? Sure, I only gave it one episode. Let's give it a couple more episodes just to see if it's actually pretty good. And uh, I stand by what I said. I don't think it's as good as people hyped it up to be, but you know, I did end up finishing it, so it's fine. Good. I might I might watch the second season as well. We'll see. We'll see where I'm at. How I feel about it. The second it's good season, scenes, and then everything else is uh, varying quality. I'd say yeah. story is, yeah, yeah. I would say the second season takes a couple episodes to get going because it really drops you into just like the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the uh, it it really drops you into this thing happening in the past with um, what's his name, Gojo. Mm. Yeah, and there's a there's a pretty radical scene at the end of the most recent episode that came out upon recording this ep- this podcast, anyways. So I yeah, that, I'm that pretty was the sure big, I that was the big hook. For I'm pretty me. sure I got spoiled on that. Which man, this is actually the first time I've ever been spoiled. I just fucking I just went to Twitter, and you know how Twitter like has so it's all it's not even new, but like so when I go to Twitter, I use TweetDeck, right? And I've always sure. been on the old one. But it recently updated to the new, uh, the new one for me, like just auto updated. And now I have like in one of the sections, I have like, um, uh, like sort of uh, things that are like relevant to me that I follow. Like when the top one for me is specifically anime, right? And I just went to Twitter and I see in the corner of my eye a picture from that episode, 
And it, it, I'm just like, okay, cool. Fuck me. <laughs> and that's a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> just right there it's like god damn i hate this update dude fuck <laughs> i've always been good at avoiding spoilers because i don't i don't seek stuff like that out i know i shouldn't fucking browse like the anime tags and shit like that because i'm going to get spoiled on a bunch of stuff Kinda but now i no longer have there. a choice now they're putting it in front of my oh, face yeah, yeah, without yeah. my consent you know what you're right it's a lot of accounts that i don't even follow it's just suggested and it's just shit yeah. comes up all the time yeah yeah, yeah I saw they that just put same... it there. It's like, hey, look at this. This is this is very this is getting a lot of engagement right now. And it's like, yeah, of course it is. It's a spoiler. Fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but moving bar, uh, let's finish this. Uh, Strike witches. So I'm sure Hickey uh, puts that at the top of his list immediately to punish us, Tori. Not. Yep. Not to me, Eugene Show. And not to me, Bookie Friends. I don't think yep. there's like anything else, is there? Uh, more Ikitosen. Uh, like I said, on the OVAs, we have uh, uh, Time of Eve. Ah, OVA section. I got to scroll down uh, my yeah. anime list here. Same. Get to all there is Time God. of Eve and Bone no Sando, which is a show that I know people oh. really like. It's a Bones show. I did kind of enjoy OVA. that. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be Both of those. different. Wait a minute. Isn't there... It's a 26-episode OVA? 26 episode on it, yeah. It I don't is. recall it being that long. Is there just a short OVA version of it? Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I know I've seen it. I just don't know. I don't mm, remember it being 26 no. episodes. No, there's not. There's a manga, oh. but I mean, it's, uh, it's not based on a manga. This is original. Then there is definitely a lot I forgot about it. I could have sworn yep. it was like a six episode OVA. Hmm. Apparently not. Okay. Unless you only watched six episodes, and there's a lot more to it. <laughs> no, I, def I, I remember definitely finishing it and thought it was pretty okay. Uh, <laughs> you watched the last six, six episodes, I got it. That, well, <laughs> wouldn't put it past me. <laughs> yeah. And then we have Detroit Metal City in OVA as well. Ah. well that and Batman, Batman, Gotham Knights, you know? Very, very popular anime. Very. Yeah, good for that. <laughs> <laughs> We cut to uh. this season now. Uh, not a lot kind of sticks out to me other than kind of the couple sequels that everyone is talking about. There's Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, Bleach, which I'm definitely continuing. This kind of came out of nowhere. Did you know a Ramoni Kenshin remake was in the works? Yeah. I had somehow that just slipped totally under my radar. And I go, wait a minute. Is it really just the exact same thing just remade or is it like Trigun where they completely revamp like the whole series? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't watch Verona Kenshin. Never did. Okay. Except for the fucking OVA which is amazing, but I guess the series I'll have to, itself never, I never cared about. I guess I'll have to check out the first episode or two and just see for myself then. Yeah, I'm just sad whenever, like, I look, because I watched the PV for it and it's just like looking at the art style and the animation as like I, like, don't get me wrong, this is a tease, right? Every time I see anything Roroni Kenshin, I'm just reminded of, reminded of that OVA, and I'm just like, man, everything just looks so much worse than that fucking OVA from the 80s. Like, <laughs> it's not even fair. <laughs> yeah, you're right about uh, that. I, just, I mean, again, to be fair, that, that Roroni Kenshin OVA is, like, some of the most just, like, amazing visuals I've seen. In general, it's, did we it's not give it a beautiful. ten out of ten on this very podcast when we when we uh, reviewed it? We, we gave it a pretty high score, yes. Yeah, it's, I think it's one of the the highest ones we've ever done. Mm. Okay. Yeah, nah. a lot of sequels to show. I was some one hundred. I think is interesting, although I hear it sort of takes a different turn after the first episode. But it's kind of funny, like just have you still only dude. watched the first episode? Yes, I have. Okay. I didn't uh, didn't continue past it yet. I will, but currently there's something else that's preoccupying my time. Uh, what is that? But yeah, the sequel to La Blue Girl. Uh, yeah, it's actually no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. Uh, I got so horny, I just had to watch every season. <laughs> it's the VCR GTA streamer server that I'm watching, which is going for like ten, twelve days straight. So that'll be fun. <laughs> God, <laughs> that is fucking fun. Shit. Uh, so not much time for anime. We have, we have fucking, uh, <laughs> Nanatsu no Makinga, uh, Shihai Suru, which is Harry Potter. 
but not Harry Potter, but Harry Potter. None. But it is totally not Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, yeah, Reign of the Seven Se Spellblades. <laughs> yep. I I have actually watched the first, like, two, three episodes, however many are out, and mm. it's, like, not good. I believe it. It's, I'll still watch it. It's so <laughs> generic and nothing. Yeah, I mean, I figured. Like, I, uh. I, 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 like I'm watching the first episode, and I go, okay, um, what's the plot what's the point like i don't know I'm, I'm waiting for something to happen essentially other than just they go to class here's some magic shit which unfortunately was what ancient uh ancient magus bride season two was for the whole season <laughs> yeah yeah it was more harry potter yep oh well it is what it is but yeah nah, the i think the two things that i'm the like that are sort of Piqued my interest the most so far this season is Undead Girl Murder Farce, just because like kind of weird. As well. Yeah, it's a it's about a sort of like half oni guy who like kills uh, like he he belongs to a circus right, but he basically goes and and kills a bunch of like um or he's forced to fight like other monsters and stuff like that, and he kills it because of his uh, his abilities, and then one day he runs into this maid who fights him, and they he he wins that fight too, but. They sort of agree to a pact of certain uh, of some sort, but then he looks and it's like she's holding uh, like a cage, and then she reveals what's inside, and it's the uh, it's the head of the uh, of the of like the immortal vampire prince or whatever the fuck her, her title was again. I don't remember exactly what it is, but like she's immortal, but she's just a head. Her body is uh, somewhere. Someone who's also the same, who's also somebody involved with our main guys. Uh, Life uh, came in and uh, killed her, essentially, uh, by killing her. He severed her head and took the body. Right. So, uh, yeah. Now, because they have common interest, they're going to travel to Europe to, well, find this man. <laughs> and uh, ask him some very polite questions. Of course. And solve <laughs> mysteries along the way, which I'm into. And I'm, so, I'm actually yep. into, into the show. Mm. It's a lot of they, exposition, cool. but I think that's okay for what they're going for. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be an amazing show, but it's it's definitely interesting. A little bit of a different premise from what we're used to. Yeah, like uh, at least at least from this season. <laughs> uh, and the other one is uh, AI no uh which is like um, it's a madhouse show, which surprises me already that it's so low. But uh, it's like uh, it's like a science fiction omnibus, uh, bus essentially that like it uh, adapts and it it follows this doctor who's like. Uh, this sort of like underground doctor who like works on uh, AI and stuff like that and it's this whole thing with like you know what makes people real and whatnot. so you have like these really like high advanced like AI people that live among regular people human types and whatnot, and all these things and it gets us to like stuff for like complications so, like are people the same like one story is about this uh, is about this family right the, the mother is uh, the mother is AI um it's it's the dad, and the father, the mother, and their daughter. the um, The mother is AI, and uh, sort of because they're afraid that something might happen, they decide to illegally duplicate her personality. But because this is done through the black market and they use the legal software, she ends up contracting a uh, a virus of some sort, mm -hmm. which is essentially killing her. And so they have this whole thing where it's like, oh, but we can just replace your your mind with the other one, and the only thing you will forget is this last week. It'll be fine. And it's like, they're all aboard it until, you know, and then they get in, get a hold of this guy who's, like, going to do it, although he warns them about doing it uh, because of uh, his own past, which they heavily imply that he's done this before uh, to his own mother. And um, it's like, so it's like he like warns about it, and they have sort of they think about it, they have a conversation. But the dad is very much into it, very much into the idea. Like, no, there, there's no problem here. Like, it's literally the same person, anyways. But the closer they get, the more the AI actually get nervous about it because she's like, oh, but doesn't this technically mean that I'm dying and being replaced by another me, right? And all of that, and they have this thing, and but they, they eventually go through with it, and there's like we see the daughter's reaction to the whole situation, and she's like. Because one of the last things the mother did was she made like a special meal for her, like the usual thing they like, but she added like a special ingredients to make it like even better or whatnot, or to spice it up a little bit. That's like something to remember by. And then it's like, 
after the operation is done and they've backed her up to the other one, to the healthy version that is not infected by a virus, and she forgets that last week, and it's like they come back in, and it's like, it's like, oh, did you did you add add like uh, the same thing to the to the meal again? It's like, what? No, why would I do that? And it's like, oh shit, dude, oh fuck, <laughs> they they probably killed their mother. <laughs> this is not the same person. Uh, so it's like, it's not the greatest show in the world, but it's it's an interesting premise. I I kind of like it. It's okay. It's kind of Astro Boy like. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, I tried. I tried this show Ayaka. It's uh, as bad as it sounds when you read the the premise of kind of this um, island with spirits and stuff, and it's it's not even worth going into. The show's not good. Don't recommend it. Dropped it almost immediately. <laughs> uh, I haven't checked out. Uh, what it what what's the show called? It is called. Let me find it. Dark Gathering. It's on High Dive. I haven't. I just mm-hmm. haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, yeah, college same. freshman That's hates ghosts. Uh, attacking spirits. There's a lot of these shows going around going around lately. Uh, mm. spiritual injury on his hand. His friends getting caught in a crossfire. Fire. Um, I guess things happen. And it leads to him kind of hunting spirits again. So that has that's on my list. Liar Liar is it says etchy. It's not really. It's just a kind of harem game fighting thing. Um somewhat interesting. I can't say it's like great, but it's all it's all about uh you challenge people to games and you do your best to cheat. So where have we heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> right. You know. And that kind of like that's that. That's it for the season. So, it's not a whole I mean, lot. The one more show, real, no, the, what's the, what's that? There's one more show that I, I haven't watched it yet, but I that I do want to watch. That is, Hulk. <laughs> Funny enough, it's basically about this um, this hero, right? Like mm-hmm. he he is the hero of humanity. But as they're like as the demons are holding like a tournament to appoint the new demon king. Okay. Uh, to appoint new. Suddenly, the fucking hero of humanity shows up. And he he's like, oh no, I'm I'm gonna become the new demon king, and everybody's like, what? <laughs> Why? What's happening? So it's like, I watched the PV for it, and it looks really dumb, but like, it looks dumb in an enjoyable way. And then you have that whole thing where it's like, there's this backstory to him. Was like, why? Everybody is trying to figure out why he wants to do it. Why is the hero of humanity turning his back on humanity and now wants to wants to make them pay? And is it probably has something to do with his sister and whatnot? And it's just like, ah. Oh. I need to I need to watch this. I need to see what what this is all about. It's also on high dive, so I guess that's two shows I'll just have to check out. That actually sounds funny. <laughs> yep. Just dicking around smiling and smiling heroes. Just yeah. always go going around with a big smile on his face. It's like, ah, and I'm also gonna kill humanity. It's like, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And with that, I guess I'll play the drop and we can start talking about porn. Yay. Hey. Okay, Tori, La Blue Girl. Yep. Uh, have you trained your penis in the art of sex craft to make every woman yours? Uh, sadly, no. Still mm, working on that. Not still working on that. <laughs> War- working yeah. it, are you? <laughs> <laughs> not working on it. <laughs> okay. All right. Hmm. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so La Blue Girl. I actually clicked on the sequel on my anime list. Oh, boy. Ah, can't even read. Jesus, what a disaster. Oh, my God. My anime list. Yuju Gakuen, La Blue Girl. La Blue Girl. Oh, what a disaster. I've started started this review off of this amazing work of art that is La Blue Girl. Okay, I think I got it. Yes, Inju Gakuen La Blue... Why is it La Blue Girl? I don't understand that. What's La or Blue about it? Yes. The blood? <laughs> the blood that's in her veins? The half-demon blood deal? Is that it? I, I, I guess. Okay. Probably, maybe. Well, yeah, let's just go with that. So, one thing I definitely did not remember is that it's six episodes OVA with... Uh, and every episode's 45 minutes. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I kind of got to do as well. So I was like, I'm not sitting here watching 45 minutes straight of of hentai. I don't have the interest for that. So I'm just like no, speeding through everything. You got to watch it all, all six. <laughs> I mean, I kind of did, but you know, it definitely didn't take me 45 minutes an episode to get through it. I'll I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you, you didn't uh, you didn't rewind a few times, take breaks in between. You didn't do anything like that. No. Nah, it wasn't necessary. Okay, I got stamina yeah. for days. I got stamina <laughs> for days. <laughs> no, nah, man, I could hold out for at least three episodes before, you know. <laughs> Over the many years, a blood feud has raged between the Moroku and Suzu- Suzuka ninja clans. During this time period, the Moroku have been the harbingers and guardians of a terrifying power. Control over a group of sex demons known as the Shikima, as one does. The power lies in the form of a magical light-emanating compact, which has been given to the clan. Anyone who bathes in the compact's light will be held victim to the Shikima's perverted assaults. Okay, that's that's what they say in the first episode in the very first, like, two seconds. Yep. Um, And that plot only applies to, like, what, the first episode and a half? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. After that, it becomes more about the actual other world. Yeah. The Shikima world. Nin- ninja stuff. Mikamido ninja is stuff. the latest descendant in the line of the Moroku and is trying to juggle <clears throat> her life as a high school student uh, with her training in sex craft and ninjutsu, ninjutsu. Her grandmother serves as the guardian, uh, but I planned assault. All right, it's just It's just going over the first episode plot. Essentially, uh, Miko is a sex craft ninja, which she is targeted by... And a virgin. And a virgin, very <laughs> important. 18 years old, also important. Um, there, Let's see, episode one and two is about uh, trying to steal the compact and take over the... Uh, well, a demon's trying to take over the demon, like, army, I guess? And then... Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> and then the middle two episodes is a shunned sex craft and Jutsu warrior and her lover uh, want revenge on the clan. Um, and there happens to be a sword involved with a spirit. And then the other two episodes is <laughs> about a kind of rogue ninja. <laughs> That um, wants to, I guess, be a half demon or some shit. Something, something. The the fucking king Sakima, dude. Yeah. Why for whatever the fuck? Yeah, I mean, they even <laughs> call her out as being, "Well, you're weird." <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so those are your Pretty three much. plot points of the six episodes. Um. I guess I'll ask you the question, Tori. Uh, which <laughs> plot was your favorite? <laughs> uh, good question. I guess in a in like in a weird way, I guess you could say like in the revenge plot, <laughs> just because it's like it's so dumb. Like I mean, first and foremost, like we're we're you're thinking like we're getting this like ninja practice, like this flashback, like ninja practice, this fucking woman who was like the instructor for everyone and then you have this dude who breaks it and then like <laughs> and it's like oh shit dude get his ass they run after her, and then you yeah. think you know our oh, fight is breaking out hell no they're gonna have sex because that's very important this is part of the um this is <laughs> this is part of the fucking uh <laughs> of the whole thing like what they do and whatnot so it's just they end up having they end up having sex and it's like ah but she won or so everybody thought but what they didn't realize and just I love it because it's like all being narrated like very seriously. But what they didn't realize <laughs> is that a piece of his sperm got inside of her, which means that she's now under his control. And it's like, huh? <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, hold hold the fuck on. You're trying to tell me that these people were training their entire lives in sex craft ninjutsu to defeat their opponents. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's vulnerable to having sperm inside of them. Y- yes. That seems like such a fucking drawback. <laughs> Like, what? Like, no, that's not, that's not how you do that. What? I really got a uh, kick out of laughing at the tools of battle that they would use to try to, quote unquote, control their enemies. 
let's see. Uh, you had the like triple air vibrator. You had, oh yeah. You had the uh, mind control womb inserting transmitter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like, oh man, uh, this isn't supposed to come out. Well, see, I could smell it. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, because her vagina is trained so well, she could push it out. Like, okay, sure. <laughs> her vagina is trained so well. And once again, I need, need I remind you, she was a virgin at the start of this show. Now, you know, you could be forgiven for thinking that that was going to be in, like an important thing. You know, I was like, ah, she has to protect her virginity, whatever. But like, nah, they basically just be like, ah, this is the main girl. She's 18 years old. She is a virgin. And then instantly, that literally fucking next second, like, and anyways, this is her getting attacked on the street and getting raped. It's like, oh, okay, so much for that. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, like, they, no, 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 they stay, they still say she's a virgin in the sense of yeah, she's I never mean, had sex with a man yeah, of her like, own consent. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. I, I guess if we're going to go that route, but you know, I... <laughs> I don't, it's like That's I don't be know if it's technically technically works that way, <laughs> defined that way, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, just fucking it, it, it did show with us, I guess. So yeah, now nah, it's just there's just a whole bunch of weird shit. There's a whole lot of rape scenes. There's a whole lot of tentacle scenes. There is just there's a whole lot of weird shit in general that goes down. You've mentioned it, the fucking the like uh, artifact that the ninja clan is protecting that the uh, the couple goes to steal when they get a hold of that sword and it's like, ah, oh, that's the spirit inside of it. Ah, oh, not just any spirit, an evil spirit of a fucking crazy woman who <laughs> <laughs> woman who yeah. would fucking bring in bring in May lovers to have, have intense sex with them and then at the height of climax murder them all. <laughs> It's like, ah, I see, yeah. Nah. Well, <laughs> you see, Tori. Why is this the sacred treasure? <laughs> I'm a little confused. <laughs> well, you see, Tori, uh, as one does, when you reach the absolute peak of pleasure, it's over. You just have to murder everybody. Ah, true. It'll just never get better than that. <laughs> I'm going to take your word on that one. <laughs> I'm not saying I speak from experience, obviously, uh, you know, but... Uh, <laughs> I have been to Amsterdam to a number of times. On that. <laughs> okay, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hasn't there been a lot of... You, you know what, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the lines in this show are really funny. I, it, it, so many things just immediately come across as instant comedy. I found myself laughing and chuckling quite a lot, and that shocked me. Especially when... I think the one that stands out to me top of my mind is uh, the Suzuka duo or trio or whatever it is, is um, they, they end up in the demon realm deal and they have kidnapped a bunch of women right from the high school and they have them in front of the mirror of shame. <laughs> <laughs> what does the mirror of shame do exactly? Uh, don't worry about that part, but it's shameful, I'm sure. And they have the very mother who's married to, or, yeah, whatever, married to uh, the demon dude in charge, and she's at the top of this mirror of shame, hung from, or strapped from the ceiling, and she's on this giant pole, and everything will funnel love juices to this mirror of shame. I must have missed the part where they explained what exactly this is supposed to do, but... <laughs> I guess transfer power somehow, but they never really explain what power transfer actually does. It's just I will get, I will uh, uh, conquer your sexual desires, and I will be more powerful. How? I I don't know. I guess you'll just bang someone better. <laughs> be more horny. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> At least in the sense of the um, the blonde chick that wants to like be a half demon. She at least there's actually a plot where she goes into <laughs> the teacher's house, fucks her and goes, you're mine now. You're the sex slave. And sh she just wants to be banged so badly that she just does her does her bidding to. So, oh, so. <laughs> I guess that's it. That must be it. You're under mind control, just, sort of. 
<laughs> I just love those fucking conversations as well, where it's just like, oh, look, it's the teacher. It's the man hungry slut who just goes to <laughs> spread her legs for any man who's the shortest. We have literally just met her, and she's just a regular teacher. It's like, ah. right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I do, I, I do also love. Yeah, I do, I do also love the. It's not even fourth wall breaking. It's just like she breaks into her home, goes, "Well, I'm a ninja, and I happen to have this like sort of penis, but it's not, and I'm gonna fuck you." And she just kind of just goes, "Are you insane? <laughs> You're. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> get out." <laughs> <laughs> How did you even get in here? I thought I locked the door. Ah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that was the response. Uh, don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's literally just like, oh, that's not a problem. It's like, I mean, I guess. So. Why are you naked? <laughs> Why are you in front of me? Go, go away. <laughs> I just don't know how fucking calm she is about it, to be honest. Like, it's just like, oh, there's a naked person in here. Why? Why are you here? It's like, ah, you know, I'm gonna fuck you. It's like, oh. But I'm a please teacher. Don't. Get out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like, please don't. It's like, I'm gonna do it anyways. I mean, I could try to stop you, but I'm not going to. But so, sort of like, but. <laughs> yeah, just no resist please. resistance at <laughs> yeah. all. It was just, bang, we're doing it. <laughs> okay, I guess this is I what I'm, I'm watching gonna... now. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna accept this, but like, why? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. I the an, another ultimate comedy was um, blonde chick uh, knocks out Miko or Mir. What what's her fucking name? Um, is it Miko? Yeah, Miko. Miko, yeah, yeah. Knocks Miko out and then implants the uh, the the mind thing <laughs> where she goes, uh, "You will become irresistibly horny." When someone asks you what time is it, <laughs> and then of course a child asks her, and she just fucking starts masturbating on the street uncontrollably. I'm like, ah, <laughs> very funny, very funny. Yes. Well, I mean, Tori, there was a crowd there, and they're all just like, "Well, hot damn! Look at this one! <laughs> look at her go!" Are they filming porn here? <laughs> I also love how nonchalantly the chick took pictures of her and then posted it at school and everyone goes <laughs> the reaction is ah look at her miko go check you out over there and she just goes oh come on <laughs> oh come on can we get to take these down we take these down that's no. embarrassing i guess yeah. and then the teacher just goes <laughs> all right guys skedaddle <laughs> nothing to look at here nothing you haven't seen online all right hold on it was in the 90s <laughs> Hold on, maybe, this was, oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention, this came out in 1993, <laughs> and it's, or 1992 actually, and it's 90s as fuck, with the art animation oh, yeah. and character art and all that. Yeah, it's uh, by Studio Kikan, I guess? Studio Kikan, yes. What did they do? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pre uh, guess they did La Blue Girl. Oh my god, they did platonic art. Excuse me? Master of Martial Art, ma sorry, Master of Martial Hearts Platonic, well, no, hold on, Master of Martial Hearts is the English title, uh, Setai Shogeki Platonic Heart, it's basically about this, like, uh, illegal, like, battle royale, not even battle royale tournament, like this fight, uh, sort of fighting tournament, where it's okay. like, you're basically, you're basically fighting a bunch of other people for, like, um, uh, for the right to like get your biggest wish granted, Ooh. and then nobody, que nobody really questions it. And uh, like it's sponsored by this mysterious organization, nobody really questions it. And it's just like, okay, sure, dude. Who doesn't want to have their biggest desire, no matter what it is, fulfilled? So a bunch of so obviously the the only ones that accept it are female, because you know, no no men wants to have their wishes fulfilled. Uh, obviously, yes, of course. Um, yeah. So, um, dude, this show has a four point five nine on my oh, anime it, list, dude. It, it's horrible. It's terrible. But it's so fucking funny when it's just like because at the end of it, it kind of hits you with that like when they, they kind of hit you with that like. Didn't you ever stop to ask yourself what happens to the people that lose? It's like oh, no, I mean, I, yeah, they're not allowed to. They're not allowed to have their wish fulfilled and whatnot. It's like yeah, but how do we prevent that from happening? It's like I don't know. Well, let's have a look at all the people you've defeated along the way. 
This, these are them right now. Look at that. They're all broken. Their minds are gone. And they are about to be sold off as sex slaves to the highest bidder. But, ah, uh, ah, <laughs> uh, I get it. And by the way, the people behind it, well, they are the people that have been closest to you all along. They are your friends who are pretending to be your friends, your friends from school and all of that. Why? Because apparently your mother is some fucking hyper assassin or whatever the fuck, and they want revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking remember. It was just, it was just like the fucking last episode of this, this fucking show. It's just like, it's literally just like plot twist, plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. Have another plot twist. How about another plot twist? Now your mother shows up, and she shows up only to die. Plot twist. <laughs> Five episode OVA with a side story came out in fall two thousand eight. Oh boy. Uh, oh, side story is a picture drama. <laughs> oh, not as interesting. No, it's just it, it's so it's just so much nothing until that last episode. That it's just like whoever fucking made this, they were just like, all right, how do we cram like seventeen plot twists into one episode? <laughs> well, you don't. Let's go. <laughs> well, back to the blue girl. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, there was tools. There was sex. Uh, I well. I guess there was, like, only one real sex scene in the entire show, and that was when, like, the random spa guy just gets, uh, they have a, he has a major sex session with, uh, the once a month blue moon (laughs) sex girl. She's like, I gotta, like, thank this dude. Uh, he treated me nice this one time. Um, we're gonna (laughs) fucking bang all night, and that'll be awesome. (laughs) Hell yeah. It's like, okay. Knock yourself out. Literally. (laughs) <laughs> well yeah and he's just like man i gotta i gotta rest five times in a row and she's like i can still go <laughs> i can still go of course you can of course you can <laughs> uh yeah i mean i guess you had a little like lesbian stint as well where it's just like ah fuck it dude We're, we got nothing better to do <laughs> you kind of do that yeah 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 uh that was just I was just about to say, oh, no, I gotta, you know, I gotta make sure that I don't get so fucking horny. I gotta keep it, gotta keep it in check. I, uh, I guess we gotta have sex every night. Fine. You know, for so a girl got, that okay. trained that that trained her whole life in sex craft, she <laughs> she got caught like super easily, constantly. Oh yeah. Just <laughs> hey, uh, there she is. Tentacles have her trapped. <laughs> like, I mean, for fuck's sake, like ah, she is trained in this. She is an expert in this area. Gets jumped on the street. Like, uh-huh. Just every yeah. time, <laughs> mm, it's like jumped on the cool. street, jumped in a, jumped in her home, jumped in uh, uh, school, <laughs> jumped in um, her. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, anyway, everywhere she went, she got like captured yep. in some way. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, except like the only other exception, I guess, was with the with, was with the other girl when it, they got her as hostage instead. But you know. <laughs> That's like the only time where she didn't get captured. Well, then someone else then, got captured. And well, she then had to play she along. showed up and then got captured. <laughs> she did. Yeah. Still, at least at least that's the only one where you could be like, ah, but you know that's because of someone else. Like, sure. But other than that, <laughs> every other time. Yeah. The uh, I, I I found the small annoying ninja dude Nin Nin. I, like, I don't Nin. know why. I don't know why this guy's here. It's the Jar Jar Bings of the Blue Girl. Yeah, I mean, he's tiny. He has like three <laughs> fingers. He doesn't like have any skills, really. What do you mean? He sneaks around and gets caught every yeah. time. He's a, <laughs> I guess he's a sacrifice that just gets caught, but then she immediately gets caught all the time. I don't know. It's, I did, he wasn't even funny. No. He was the most offensive <laughs> thing in this entire show, for sure. Yeah. And with all the rape, that's that's a lot. (laughs) God. (laughs) Uh. Is it really rape if it's the fighting style in their martial arts? I mean, it's definitely not consensual. (laughs) So, um... hmm. Consensual fighting? But a lot of the time, it wasn't even consensual fighting. (laughs) They got jumped. Non-consensual fighting? (laughs) 
<laughs> non-consensual fighting. I think we're just back to rape. <laughs> uh, non-consensual fighting. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, the Suzuka clan people. They're when when they oh, yeah. go to the demon world, they have their special abilities. And <clears throat> Miku has that has her sister who's I guess she just develops this like crazy sense of horniness. But um the hermaphrodite <laughs> chick dude uh she's in love with him and they're banging and she actually i'm not miku i'm her sister and he's like get off me bitch i wasted my time <laughs> and then you got right. you got the other chick who's on this like sickle and she's masturbating then all of a sudden i guess the ability she had was to make all of the demons penises explode i'm like what is happening <laughs> i don't understand <laughs> For a hentai, sex this isn't is very, very sexy. To this plot. <laughs> no, it is not. I mean, I guess if you're into that, but you know. I am not into this penises is, see, exploding, Tori. I, 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 have, I have apparently very specific not, but... <laughs> kinks, but <laughs> that is not one of them. <laughs> no, but if one of them started playing golf. <laughs> well, okay, we might be one step closer, I guess, these days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, here's oh, the, baby, this thing that, that a, I don't understand. Is that a nine iron in your hand? Oh, uh, ooh. <laughs> or are you just happy to see me? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but like, I think the thing that sort of weird weirds me out about it, especially knowing like um, the history of like tentacle porn. I, I say as if I'm an expert on this, but like, well, uh, you, you admitted to not doing your research before this podcast, so you've exposed yourself immediately. It's, Exposed. Exactly. <clears throat> so, uh, no, nah, but like the thing that, because the reason why um, tentacles exist in, in hentai is because they were seen as sort of an easy way to get around like censorship laws, right? It's like it's a, this they can I, be seen this as I very remember, phallic yeah. and, uh, yeah, and like uh, you didn't have to pixelate them because it's, it's not a, it's not a penis. It's not genitals. It's a tentacle. That's why it exists. But then why does shows like why did shows like this suddenly start coming out? Because like this has nothing to do with that. You have regular sex too. You have regulated regular pixelated penises and pussies. So why 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 also tentacles? Is this just the point where everybody was fucking getting off on like <laughs> octopuses and shit like that? Is that what is that what happened? And then we're like, ah, fuck it, dude. I guess it's just a, I guess it's just here to stay now. <laughs> uh I guess I guess it kind of went away the the farther we get away from the '90s, that kind of stuff. It's definitely more rare, but it still exists. Yeah, I mean, everyone, I know, course, everyone but, has uh... their uh, everyone has their kinks. We don't kink shame on this podcast, obviously. I do. Well, <laughs> what are you shame? What are you shameful about? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I just took took a sip of my drink when you said that as well. Mm. Love I'm it. not shameful about anything. Mm. I just can't shame other people. It's my it's my kink. Your kink uh, is kink shaming. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you're into that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, you are. <laughs> my judgment my, my my judgmental attitude turns me on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, that must be so embarrassing for you. I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now you got it. <laughs> uh, All right. I guess. Uh, I, I guess, guess yeah. they're very serious. Very serious. Are we kind of done with the blue girl. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like I don't really have anything. Like the story is. Um, it exists. They have a lot of sex. That was the woman who wanted to who fucking, I don't know, take over and fucking kill the king of the Sekima or whatever, the Shikima. And, uh, yeah. So she was like, what the fuck was it? She was like electricity itself or whatever the fuck. That was just weird. Sure. And the and, rib when she uh, gets rid of the ribbon, it, I guess, unleashes power, which begs the question, why does she wear the ribbon? To hold in the power. But if she just <laughs> didn't wear the ribbon, she would always have the power and not get caught. Nah. No? Don't worry about that part? Okay, nah. Sure. <laughs> Don't worry about that part. We're good. But yeah, nah. And then I, I just, I love that scene as well for the simple reason. It's like, 
when she finally is defeated and then the fucking like dying fucking Shikima King is just there and he's like, oh, oh, I'm getting my like he's literally dying because he's just been having nonstop sex for like five months. It's like so I can't take it anymore. And then like the moment they fucking they fucking uh, <laughs> the feeder, he like gets up, he starts getting his vigor back, and he's like, "All right, the only way there's only one way to deal with people like this. I'm gonna fuck her." <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> brother, right. were you literally dying because you've been having sex for like five months straight? And the first right. thing you think about all is he just needed was her. a all he needed was a break. <laughs> yeah, for two seconds. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess we have to score this. Not sure how. Not sure what I'm supposed to critique it on. I mean, I don't know. A point an episode? Six out of ten, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? I think this is definitely ten tentacles out of ten. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so you're, you're a full <laughs> ten. I'm a six, so I guess that makes it an eight. <laughs> exactly. It's better than most anime. <laughs> okay, eight out of ten for the blue girl <laughs> aggregate from Tori and myself. Good enough for me. Uh, I won't argue it. It's indisputable. Exactly. This is this is these are objective ratings only. Very much thought was put into this. Very much discussing thought, the yes. pros and cons. The the fucking discussing the pros and cons and calculating this out. I did the math. I, I promise I did the math. Definitely did the math on the calculator, and it mm -hmm. came back with a ten. So, okay, you know, it's not it's not me. I didn't say it's a ten. The math said it's a ten. <laughs> yeah, that that uh, I, 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 I there was a double penetration <laughs> joke I wanted to throw in there, but I, it just I couldn't think of one. So, <laughs> only double, <laughs> triple, ten out of ten. <laughs> uh. Okay, so naturally, we will follow up uh, La Blue Girl with another anime, uh, which is Honey and Clover, <laughs> as one does. That is they the next episode. They are very similar. <laughs> exactly the same. No questions asked. Uh, Tori, this, was been, this, this has been fun. This was been fun, yes. This was been fun. Has was been fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, that ends this episode. See everybody. Peace.